from Tile Studios in Hollywood, California. This is the premiere of Pop Play Digital Block. Tonight, Digital Welcomes, Men's Bathroom Choir Owner, Nick Guy 6425. Still featuring Sky in the Premium Comedy Band, now without masks. And now, live on to it from Studio 28. Here's Digital Locked. I think. Hey, hello and welcome to Uplate Season 2, everybody. Now I know I've been gone for at least a few months, but we're finally bringing Toff's quote-unquote favorite talk show back from the grave. Luckily, our premium comedy band is still here and ready to play us a tune. Let's say, let's see if they still know anything. Um, you, trumpet guy. Funny. Right. Well, let's get into uh, the news. Now, actually, before we do that, um, let's say how to quirk. I'm quirk, hello? You Are you still my, here? You took my chair. Uh, you didn't have a chair. Yeah, I did. I took... This is what happens from... Why did, I... Why did I leave the confines of my home again? I don't, I don't know. Uh, is, it, is it comfortable? No. Like, on the ground? No. Okay, I don't really care. Well, first off, Jeff Bezos' space firm Blue Origin is suing NASA over a decision to award a $2.9 billion lunar lander contract to Elon Musk's SpaceX. The suing would have to take one to three days, unless you have Amazon Prime. Oh, and, uh, you know, you know what they have on Amazon Prime Video? It's a superhero show called Invincible. <laughs> nice to see them doing a show about me. <laughs> now, is it me or is the idea for Jeff Bezos going to space sound just stupid? I swear, he watched one film by Bruce Willis and he thought, screw it, I'm going to space. I don't know if anyone knows this, but, uh, again, is it me, or does Jeff Bezos look like Professor X? <laughs> Actually, no, he looks more like, uh, this guy. Creepy. On to more news regarding game shows. Uh, because I know half of you are really suckers for it, our good pal and Tom Hanks wannabe Mike Richards was recently given the role of permanent host for Jeopardy. Until just a few days later, where a bunch of scandals led him to resign from his position. <laughs> Poor old Mike. May he rest in peace among the all other cancelled celebrities in the big trash can in the sky. However, since there is now an open spot, I heard they're doing new auditions for the role of Jeopardy host. But they're keeping it quiet. Luckily, we found some recordings of one of them. Take a listen. Okay, players, here's the clue for 800. This musical artist is renowned for being the greatest artist of all time. Uh, who is Duke Ellington? Bitch, shut the f up. I didn't ask you to speak yet. Interesting. He went from, you know, being a music artist to president, now Jeopardy host. Good luck. Facebook has announced that they'll be doing virtual offices with a new app called... Horizon Workrooms. You know, congratulations, Facebook. You just made a discount version of The Sims. <laughs> you know how everybody has been crying for another Sims game? Well, this is Sims 5. I just love how Facebook is funding this. And yes, this is the same Facebook that has all of those out of control ranting grandmas. Facebook moms who like to just hate on everything, like clickbait posts and videos of people ranting in their car over something they disagree with. What'd you expect of and Facebook? It's, I mean, yeah, sure. I don't really use Facebook anymore. Do you? What's Facebook? Well, I, well, I mean, I watched this movie with this one guy, uh, I, don't, I forgot his name, uh, Zuckerberg or whatever, he made a, uh, this website. <laughs> you watched this movie with Zuckerberg? He, you mean... He, he was like, ratehotchicks.com. And he made a website and he was a great hot chick and it ruined the entire campus. It was very funny. What? 
I don't remember that in the movie. I think <laughs> I think you've been watching porn. That's not no. Or whatever you do in your free time. Okay. Well, that's our monologue, everybody. Uh, we have a great show for you tonight. My guest is n the legendary MBC or Men's Bathroom Choir owner, Nick Guy 6425 or 6325. It's numbers. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, we will be right back with, yeah, with that. Yeah, so, yeah, just stay tuned. Today, a teenager in Madrid and a teenager in Atlanta discovered an international language, boys. Today, Don Reed found the mutual fund that will put his kids through college. Some new roommates in Boston found their first piece of furniture. Tony Ramos made his latest dance mix available to techno fans worldwide. And Charles Beckman got in touch with his high school sweetheart 60 years after their first kiss. Snap.com Joe, I need a check for that museum model. Oh, and I need an approval for the additional watch lines I've been bugging you about. They're a good investment, Joe. Well, I'm talking about a building that'll put us back on the map. Well, I'm worried about the bottom line. We're using the phones for everything, from computers to fax machines. In 20 years, you'll be looking at a great museum. Don't worry about the bottom line. If we don't start worrying about it now, we're not going to be here in 20 years. Welcome back, everybody. My first guest of the season tonight is the owner of Men's Bathroom Choir and is also yet another legend in the game show community. Please welcome Nick Guy 6325. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? What is, what is up? What is up? Oh, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing, doing good. good. You said my name, my name wrong. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's Nick Guy 6425. It's numbers. It doesn't matter. Ah, it's, come it's on. Num all, number, okay, all numbers really, have values. Uh, Nick, Nick, give me a second. Now, do you think anyone really cares about the numbers? Not really. I go by Nick Guy the Science Guy. Nick Guy the Science Guy is also good. Okay, so you are a man who owns... A bathroom choir. Now, how how was how did that came to be? Well, there. Were, well, do you want do you want the real story or the story I tell the public? We want the truth. You want the truth? Okay. So one night, I was mm -hmm. doing some good old underage drinking with my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Cappers underscore zero three. It was a great night. It was New Year's New Year's Eve. You know, we we're getting a little turnt. And, you know, we had this little, like, Discord server, this little private club. It was called the Men's Bathroom Choir. Uh, it was kind of a server where we talked about, like, you know, not the most regular things that you would see in your average community Discord server. Like, you know, just a couple what? inappropriate things. Like what? Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but sex? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were talking about sex. Uh, like, sex on TV, you know what I'm saying? But... Uh-huh. And one day I was like, what if we made this like a Roblox group? Imagine that. Imagine that. And so I did. You know, I was like, oh, man, I was turned. But, man, I was like doing stuff on my computer. And the next thing you know, the group was alive. You uh, made old-fashioned values. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Good old-fashioned values. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to last too long. But, you know, here we are, 360 members later, only eight months in. and Turned out great. <laughs> yeah, it really did. We're getting big, you know. We're... We're getting big. That's all I'm going to say. We're getting big. <laughs> I just yeah. want to thank everybody for it, man. Y'all gave me a chance. Y'all gave us a shot. And we deliver for you guys every day. You know? Yeah. Apparently, people like bathroom choirs. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, it's, you know, it's a game show group, but it's not like your, it's not like your average game show group. Yeah, it, it isn't. Now, what, what, kind, of, what kind of ga game shows do you do on? So uh, we basically produce game shows that go off the rails. Like, stuff you wouldn't imagine to see on TV. Like, for example, our number one show, uh, and actually we just got finished taping an episode just a little bit ago, um, Simp Your Luck. Um, 
Now so we just started our fourth season just a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, fourth season. So it's this is so far our biggest season yet. We've given away over over one non million dollars. Yep, that's a real number, a non million. Yeah, basically it's just like press your luck, except this season we're using the uh, 2003 Whammy the All New Press Your Luck set. Except you win a crazy amount of money. Like you, you, you can take one spin and have a quintillion dollars, or you can take another spin and be like negative quintillion dollars like it's there's no boundaries to the show which is what i really like about it it's like it's a chance for myself and my production team to be creative like we can kind of put our minds to it think about it get jokes from some of our favorite shows like family guy like we just had we just added like the peter copter gag into our show that's like probably one of the funniest gags we've ever created to be honest but that's one of my personal favorites now but it's crazy, you know, it's just crazy what we can do when we put our minds to it and just kind of just explore our own creativity. Like, it's awesome. I love it. Now, do you have any upcoming things for, uh, you know, your uh, MBC? Actually, we have quite a few upcoming things. Uh, this Sunday coming up, uh, I think it's Sunday. I, yeah, I think it's Sunday. We're coming, well, let's just say this Labor Day weekend, we are starting our second season of another one of our popular shows. It's uh, called Triple Threat, hosted What's by that? Uncharted Dimensions. It's uh, Well, it's an original creation. It's kind of a, it's, it's a take a play on Wheel of Fortune, The Joker's Wild. And so it's like a mashup of, of game shows. Yeah, it's a mashup of shows, but like a whole concept of its own. It's really cool. It's, it's really, really cool. We also have some more shows in development. We have a new project that I... Uh, Cannot release to the public yet, but it's an old favorite that we are reviving on our network. Uh, something I'm very excited about. Um, we also have a new, um, we're expanding the talk shows very soon. We actually just um, broke the ground on this project today. Um, it's going to be called Nick Guy. Nick Guy. Nick Guy. That's God, what you're Nick calling guy. it? Nick Guy? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be called Nick Guy. So basically, it's a play on the, uh, uh -huh. the popular show, Mori. Um, we're going to be making it. We haven't decided if it's going to be in person or a Discord show. Uh, we still are working that out with, you know, if it's going to be on voice or not. But it's basically going to be just like Mori, where we're doing fake fraternity tests where uh you know someone could be the father like digital you know if you come on the show take your fraternity test for your child sure. you know uh, <laughs> hey you could be the father you never know it's all going to be kind of decided <laughs> behind the scenes on the production team it's going to be like an improv show it's going to kind of just happen as it goes along we're not going to plan any of it out i mean we'll plan out the scenarios but like the acting is all going to be real it's going to be improv i'm going to be doing my but thing it's going to be awesome there's also going to be lie detector tests too like you know we'll have some couples and they'll be like hey man were you lying to her like, that's a good idea we asked um, you did she cheat you said no lie detector test determined that was a lie and then everyone just goes crazy it's, just, it's <laughs> gonna be a show basically for audience enjoyment sure We're doing something that nobody on roblox has ever done before Creating a paternity test TV show on Roblox. Uh huh. Do you have any memories of of the Roblox game show community that you want to share I mean, with us? Seriously. I've been I've been here for like fucking years, man. I'm like a grandpa to these people now. Um, I started uh, back in TGSH with one of my good friends, uh, Wheel Three Two Six. You know, he's he's the homie. We're still yeah. homies in these days. Yeah, he's a great guy. I started on TGSH, and you know what? We were all a bunch of kids back then. You know, a bunch of but then we said some stupid shit. It was all right. But we've grown up. And uh, yeah. NBC's here now. I still have Wheel 326 uh, working for me as a developer along with multiple other wonderful people. Uh, it's really awesome to kind of just see where I've gone. Like, you know, just starting at the bottom as a contestant, moving all the way up hosting. Like, my first hosting job was actually a, a family feud show back on t Team Game Show Hallway back in 2018. 2017, 2018. That was, I thought that was my big break back then. I thought I was hot shit because I hosted that show. And it was pretty, it was pretty funny. Um, it was the first show to actually ever be done on a Friday night in the community ever. Uh, so Friday nights that became an actual night for shows now after uh, we started that back in 2017. Once we realized it grew in popularity, we decided to keep giving it more tries. And, you know, it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. I was really proud of it. And I went to produce some more shows back in TGSH or helping produce, helping control stuff. Uh, then Toph came around. I worked at Toph for a little bit. 
then I kind of took a leave back in 20, the end of 2019, I kind of took a leave, came back around mid 2020. And uh, uh, I interviewed this guy. His name, his name was Matthew, uh, Matthew Cox 111. I was, uh, <laughs> Nick, don't, don't do what I think you're about to say. <laughs> Dude, I just did not like that kid at all. <laughs> was just or did did you did that pizza come to him? Yeah, yeah. So one day we sent him pizza. I was <laughs> proud of it too. He basically he, okay. So we'll this guy and I, you know, we, you know, he's he's referred to me and my friends as multiple racial slurs. Uh, he claims that uh, a lot of people who are still working here today were exploiters when he was one himself. Uh, I caught him red-handed exploiting multiple shows for multiple groups. He was outcasted, and uh, yeah, now he's a music producer. It's kind of cool. He's not really popular, but he's making he's making songs with some guy named Trey in like his basement or something. But hey, man, he's he's doing his thing. <laughs> he's trying to be the next Kanye West, you know. <laughs> Good luck on that. Uh, he's he's already I'm there mentally. Yeah. He's just got to get there music wise. Mentally, hey. he's already Kanye West. Then after that, he just goes straight to the president. Hey Kanye, hey, Kanye doesn't need to go to prison. Kanye's an all right guy. No, but I mean mentally, president. No, not, not prison. Guy. Nick, I'm not talking about prison. I'm ta- I'm talking about the Oval Office, the president. Oh, like the Kanye. president. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, if I ever see that man's name, he's he's got my vote. He's got my vote. And I'll say it. He's got my vote. <laughs> Let's get Matty Rocks 111 in office for 2035. <laughs> 2036, you know, Matty Rocks 111. Hey, digital. Yeah. Yeah. Rem- rem- I remember, remember, uh, remember when, uh, what was that? Remember, yeah. Remember when I was talking to Un? Yeah, man. Ma- imagine if I told told the other guy that, uh, that, you know, the wedding. What? The wedding. What wedding? The, you know. Nick, do you know the wedding? Oh, I know the wedding, all right. Oh, man. <laughs> the wedding. I had, I had one too many Bloxy Colas that night. Oh, my God, man. I said some stupid wait, shit. Wait, the wedding. So no, there wait. was a wedding. Uh, one of my old friends, uh, Mr. I, I, um, Prime Lion, attended to. I'm pretty sure you guys know about I, I Prime Lion. Uh, a legend. And it wasn't, it wasn't heard his... Of it wasn't his wedding, but I don't know why he was there. I think I think he was trying to like get with this like online girl or something he met there. But yeah, basically like dude, I, I had one too many Bloxy Colas along with my good friend on Charter Dimensions. You know, we took some pretty fucking terrible photos that night. But the one that haunts me forever and still finds its way back every single month or so is the one where I uh, I shouted something inside that wedding that was uh, pretty not okay. And um, I am sorry. <laughs> I am very sorry. I am I am not a racist person at all. He's not Indian. He's let's racist. just let's just let's. I'll um I'll I'll say it's censored. The irony is unsaid it uncensored. So you know, but that's just on. Oh, un- unsaid it. Oh, they already said it uncensored on their show. I think we did. If we I don't. Did, we did. Yeah, well, that's all right. All I know is that I giggity or gafloigity and uh <laughs> and then. <they're> <laughs> With my Guga. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah, um, Nick Guy, 6425. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's correct. Yes. So 6425. Yeah. Woo, well, that's me! <laughs> so, again, Nick Guy, 6425. Six, Everybody. Um... Yeah, we'll be right back with whatever we have coming up. It's not about saying cheese anymore. It's not about posing on the couch in your Sunday clothes. It's what doesn't go according to plan that makes the best pictures. Try Fuji Color Quick Snap Plus one time use cameras with brilliant pictures from technically advanced Fuji Color Super G Plus film. Because life won't stand still while you go home and get your camera. It's new from Polaroid, the impulse camera. Go where it takes you. You got to go. Go 
go with the new Polaroid Impulse camera. You got to go. Oh. You're meeting. You nervous? Didn't sleep a wink. And pizza from Pizza Hut tastes so authentic, it's fooling everyone. It's from Carlos on 10th. The Lucas on 2nd. Rosanio's on Church. From Sal's on Liberty, see? Hand-stretched dough, rich tomato sauce, and whole milk mozzarella. I can tell by the sauce. This cheese is talking. The sauce is a dead giveaway. Oh, you want to go to Sal's? You go way down, you got it. You can't walk. Get one large Neapolitan pizza for just $7.99 or two for $11.99 every day at Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut? I was going to say that. I didn't want to, you know, blurt it right out, you know? Hello everybody, I'm Johnny Zillion, and this is the start of a new mini-series on Uplate I'm humbly titling, The Uplate Spotlight of the Week. In this segment, I'll be talking about the hottest games that Roblox has to offer, and must plays you should definitely get into. Tonight, I'll be talking about a beloved mashup of two games I truly enjoy, Portal and Doomspire. Now everybody loves Portal, with its complex puzzles and one-of-a-kind mechanism that makes the game unique to new players. No wonder why Portal 2 was ranked one of the greatest games of the decade, aided by its storyline and mind-bending rooms and tests. Roblox players also love the classic game of Doomspire, where four teams battle it out to take down the other players' towers before they get taken down too. You're equipped with a wide range of weapons, such as a paintball gun, a slingshot, a rocket launcher, a trowel, a bomb, a bouncy ball, and a sword. It's a great game if you love destruction and carnage. It's pretty much the perfect combination of fun and competition. This game I'm talking about today is called, promptly, Doomspire Portals. It's the same game that you know and love, except this time you're equipped with a portal gun. You can shoot portals through certain materials and bounce from one part of the map into the next in a matter of seconds. You're also given weapons, just like the classic game of Doomspire, but this time they're updated so that they're more competitive than before. The paintball gun acts like a real gun, where headshots score you more points and take down enemies in a flash. The rocket launcher blows up towers of ease and kills players almost immediately, a great weapon to use during combat and destruction. The slingshot is a rapid fire version of the paintball gun and can be used to blow away enemies, but I personally prefer the paintball gun. The bomb is the perfect way to demolish enemy towers, just one of them can destroy a quarter of a floor's wall. The trowel works like the classic version, but the walls seen here are taller and more sturdy than the Doomspire versions. You can actually shoot portals through them, and there's a neat trick you can do with the trowel that sends the tower flying. Sometimes the maps will change to different areas, plus the game has different variations that you can throw it into. Sometimes there will be two teams, bigger explosions, harder to kill enemies, and spawns where spawns shouldn't be. Now, there are a few downsides to the game, considering some of the bugs you'll rarely find, but the game is always being updated by one person. You know, I always thought this game was made by an entire development team, but it's actually one guy named Homemade underscore Meal, who's been creating games such as Portal, Portal Together, and Tunneler. Well, I guess he likes portals, and thank goodness it went to a good use. This game is fun on top of innovative, on top of puzzling, on top of competitive, on top of fresh. Kudos on taking one of Roblox's most classic games and giving it a modern spin that all ages will enjoy. If I think this game is cool, I think you would too. I'll leave a link to the game in the description so you can check it out yourself. And also check out Homemade Meal's other games and join his Roblox group and Discord for updates on any of his upcoming games and projects. Well, that's all I've got for this game. Until next time, I'm Johnny Zillion for the Spotlight of the Week. Accentuate the positive. New Accentuous Mascara. L'Oreal's very new eye-opening look. Lengthens, defines, accentuates each lash. New Accentuous Mascara from L'Oreal. More definition by the lash. More beautiful by design. Until now, lighted watch dials were really hard to see in the dark. But the Indiglo nightlight from Timex is so dramatically brighter. Nighttime will never be the same. You may not have given side impact collisions much consideration, but Buick has. You may not know that by the year 1997, all cars will be required to meet the U.S. government's side impact safety standard, or that the Buick Regal sedan meets this standard today, four years in advance. But it is important information, and we think it's definitely food for thought.
Well, that's our show tonight. It's just time to see what the weather's going to be like with Michael. Michael? The purge begins tonight. So I'm after your card, Digital. Uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, good no Wait, what? What do you mean my Dodge Challenger? No! Why am I going so slow? Okay, I'll take, I'll, I'll take the other end.